Hey everybody, I'm Shauna and welcome back to my channel, Shauna Missy Me HD, where I strive to inform, encourage, and motivate you to achieve your educational goals by helping you gain admission into health-related undergrad and graduate programs. And today's video is all about gaining admission into medical school, specifically discussing biology versus nursing as an undergraduate major. Uh, don't get me started. So before we get started, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe and make sure you press the notification bell so that you're the first to know when I release a video. So I've gotten a lot of questions about which major is better for me, biology versus nursing. And honestly guys, that is a two part answer. Half of it has to do with the stats and the data and which one has proven to be more beneficial for students as far as receiving admission into medical school. And then the other half of that answer really has to do with the individual. Like, will you actually pursue medicine? If you won't, then you may need to consider another degree that's gonna actually land you in a great career after graduating college. So first, let's compare the data. If you haven't checked out my previous video, Best Pre-Med Majors, I'll link it here as well as in the description box. It basically covers the most common majors that students apply to medical school with, as well as the admission rates for those majors. So check that out. But if you haven't had a chance to look at it, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it here because it matters. So in that video, I explained that for biological sciences, about 57% of students actually apply to medical school with the biological degree. And if you look at the acceptance rates, only about 40% of students who apply with a biological degree actually receive admission into medical school versus students who apply with a nursing degree, their admission rates is at about 36%. So considering those numbers, you're able to see which applicant typically would receive admission into a medical school, whether they have biology versus nursing. And if you haven't seen my last video, then I'll go ahead and tell you that even biology does not have the highest acceptance rates. The highest acceptance rates are math majors, physical science majors like chemistry and physics, as well as humanities. So if you are thinking that, oh, I must major in biology to get into med school, that is 100% false. If you are thinking, oh, I can't major in nursing if I wanna go to medical school, that is 100% false. I briefly wanna mention that you do not have to attend a university that has a direct connection to a medical school. You can go to any university as long as you go to an accredited university and you receive a degree. Medical schools will accept applicants from pretty much anywhere in America. Also, if you want to attend a top tier or Ivy League medical school, I do recommend that you try to attend a top tier or Ivy League undergrad, simply because it may increase your chances at matching to that medical school. Now, the second part to my answer literally has to do with the individual. And this is where all the difference is made. Basically, you have to take a good look in the mirror and really self-examine yourself and say, hey, do I really want to commit the rest of my life or do I really want to commit the next eight to 12 years of my life to one career? And if the answer is yes, then I suggest that you go biology route, chemistry route, physics route, any science route that's going to help prepare you maximally for the MCAT and also for beginning medical school versus any other degree. That is just my recommendation. Do you have to major in a science? Absolutely not. Like I said in my last video, obviously humanities and math is up there. So if you don't want to do that, you don't want to do chemistry and biology, you don't have to. Medical schools do not have a preference. That is just my suggestion when it comes to what students should major in because the prereqs are already covered in your degree plan most likely and it can help you with MCAT and it can potentially better prepare you as a student for medical school. But if you're somebody who kind of back and forth, you're questioning, you wanna be a doctor, you love the idea of it, but you just don't know if you can go to school that long, you just don't know if you'll be able to study you know, four months straight for an MCAT exam, you just don't know if you're gonna be able to do it, then I highly recommend you majoring in nursing 
or some other health related field if you want to be in the healthcare industry or some other field period that will allow you to be able to get a job to take care of yourself after graduating college you don't want to major in biology and then change your mind not not continue to pursue medical school and then end up in a lab or research and that's like not what you want to do you don't want to get a master's and you also don't want to teach but that's why i say it really depends on the person if you know you want to be in a hospital setting then maybe you want to do healthcare administration maybe you want to look into respiratory therapy maybe you want to just like i said be a nurse go to go to school for nursing and if everything works out and you have a great gpa and you take the mcat and you crush it then apply to medical school. But if you go to nursing school and you have an average GPA and you just really don't see yourself continuing school any longer, then it's okay because you have a nursing degree and you can work in a hospital like you want it to. So that is why I recommend really, really soul searching, digging deep and figuring out what it is that you want. What are you gonna be willing to commit yourself to? Because pursuing medicine is a commitment and it's a lifetime commitment even when you are done with school you're done with residency training and you're like a full-time attending making that money you are still committed to your practice and you are still committed to education because medicine is constantly changing so you are always learning and you are always tested over new information so if you know you don't want to commit to something that long, but you just might feel like you want to be a doctor, but you just kind of having second thoughts or reservations, then my advice is to major in a nursing or some other field that'll allow you to be able to make a decent salary once finishing college. If not, if you know you want to do medical school and there's nothing else you're going to pursue, then it really doesn't matter. Go for the science degree. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you know, Go ahead and comment below. Hit me up on Instagram. Be on the lookout for the next video. Thanks, guys.